Hey friends, happy Tuesday. So Sunday, uh, Kristen, <clears throat> Kristen is my um, assistant with the Compromands. Kristen has been coming to this church, uh, attending for about five or so years and um, comes from Hawaii a member of a Methodist church there, and she and her brother, Ethan, are students here. So Kristen has been helping me with the confirmands. We have four confirmands, and, um, and I ask you to keep them in prayer, but we are, work we are working on helping them um, read their Bible. They each got a Bible and helping them to develop a, I guess you'd say habit, um, a practice to read scripture um, daily or uh, several times a week and to sit with the scripture. What I've asked them to do is to begin with the Gospel of Luke and to, to read this, um, to stop and pause where they have questions or where something stands out to them that they're like, wow, um, what does that mean? Or I really like this. And so then we have discussions about their findings. And Kristen and I share um, as well from our reading. And one thing that I have asked them, uh, an additional thing I've asked them to do is to look for the phrase, do not be afraid. Luke uses that phrase so many times as he is telling the story of Jesus and uh, the story of Jesus's ministry here on earth. Do not be afraid. And we will explore with them um, the context of that phrase and how we too are um, told by God, by the Spirit, do not be afraid. There's another phrase that we hear a lot, and I am telling you this because we're going to talk about um, love again and abiding again next couple weeks. How do we live as Easter people? How do we live as people of the resurrection? And I shared last week the importance of abiding. We've talked about abiding and about loving one another many times. And in fact, somebody has said that it's probably written in the New Testament 13 times. Love one another. And because of that, I am not going to feel guilty having another sermon about loving one another. I would like you to explore that if you can. Explore the phrase in John. Um, the book of John, the Gospel of John, and the New Testament epistle of John. Uh, see where that pops up. Sit and pause with that. What is God saying to you about loving one another? What hinders you from loving your neighbor? Loving, actually, um, I believe it's First John, or no, I think it's the Gospel of John that says you need to love your brother and sister. And in the ancient world, brother and sister included not just those that you were, you know, uh, you both had the same parents, but it was a neighborly experience. It was a cultural experience, our brothers and sisters. And we can see ourselves really as brothers and sisters because um, we are all children of God, right? So friends, explore that this week and on Sunday we will look at that again in depth that as followers of Jesus the fruit that we bear is love. Go in peace my friends.